What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally got out of the Mursong Cave, and now, I uh, do not know where we're at. I think it's Route 54. Yes, Route 54, and we're going to continue our adventure right here. Now, in our last episode, we found out what three Pokemon are useful right now, and that is Sunny, Dude, and Zoro. Uh, the rest, well, it is what it is. I, I haven't used... I haven't used Moonlight a lot yet, but to me, hold on just a sec, I just saw something here. It's a fairy type, holy bejeebus. Did not know, I, I, I didn't know that, that they added the fairy type on this, huh. Interesting, okay, so that might be a little bit of a development right there. So. Let's go right ahead and, I guess, take on more trainers. Ow, a Pokemon just bit my foot. Okay, all right. All right, let's do this, sir. So here we go. Gambler wants to fight, and he's coming out with a Vulpix. So, yeah, we chose the wrong Pokemon for this battle. Let's go ahead and use Dude. Dude Love. Anywho, guys, uh, so, like, uh, well, I kind of want to say that it's, like, a good experience that I'm kind of having a good experience with this whole game right now. But it's just the first four episodes. Don't want to uh, count my eggs just yet. I mean, there is a lot to get to, I'm assuming. And, you know, so far, eh, I'm pretty good, pretty good and all that stuff. Now, some of you guys, again, wondering why I came out with Pokemon Brown. It's very simple, guys. Very, very simple. Uh, it kind of looked like to me you guys needed to, uh, or wanted another Pokemon hack game, and this game was the one that was catching my eye, or has been on my radar for, you know, the last 10 years that I've been on YouTube. So I kind of just, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to do it. And look at this. Dude, yes, helps us out, and he's coming out with another Vulpix. So let's just continue right here with Dude. Now, in my last episode, I did capture a Slowpoke. It's in the PC right now. Kind of sucks. And, well, here we go with the tackle attack. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so we are we are definitely doing a little bit of a struggle right here with this, this Vulpix right here. But to me, it looks like we are going to, you know, Look at that, we're gonna have a, another level 10 Pokemon right here, and well, when is Dude going to lose, or when is he going to learn another move? And crap baskets, here we go with another trainer. My Pokemon's really cute. Look. Okay, alright, so here we go, another last wants to battle us, and she is coming out with a Jigglypuff now. I'm assuming Jigglypuff is a uh, fairy type Pokemon too, and I'm also assuming that this Pokemon will try and put us to sleep. So, yes, we're going to seed it. Going to try to defeat it twice. And let's go with the Vine Whip right here. And, well, let's see. There it is. We're getting uh, sung to sleep and all that stuff. Good thing I already got that thing covered right there. So, it won't be a problem. Anywho, uh, let's see. There was another thing to this game, guys. I, I believe this is... Okay, so... I, I noticed that there was two versions of Pokemon Brown. I did have the original version on my, uh, it, well, in one of my, uh, my files right here. It's been sitting there for quite some time, but it didn't really work. Right now, I'm actually playing the 2014 edition. I don't know much about it, okay? Not joking. Don't know much about it. But I do hear a lot of great things about it. You know, the, co the whole, you know, addition of fairy types, well, and, and then the, the rest of the Pokemon right here. Um, shoot. I've always wanted to play Pokemon uh, Brown. I really did. And I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, I, I remember why it was off my radar and all that stuff. Because I have been playing a lot of games, especially when I was Draven XC711. So that kind of just took a backseat for a very, very long time. And, well, you know, I kind of figured that, you know, uh, since we are officially in summer, I, you know, it, it would be good to have an, uh, an extra hack game right here for you guys to watch. As many of you guys already remember, last last year we were, like, you know, dead center of a pandemic. Bam! And I came out with a lot of walkthroughs, and I completed all of them, including Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Well, the majority of it, and 
Well, yeah. I kind of figured that, well, since my schedule's picking up a little bit, and yes, I know that we've already finished one football season. I'm in the midst of another one, and hello! We got a do duo here. This can't be good. Oh, crap. Okay, so let's go right here. Well, like I was saying, guys, um, since my schedule is going to be picking up a lot, why not just pregame it? You know, I'm just going to pregame the whole thing by just recording every episode uh, as I can. That way, I can just upload it for you and, you know, have have extra episodes for you while I'm completely busy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a Pokeball at this Pokemon. Because to me, it looks like Doduo is a... Uh, looking like a Pokemon I need. Probably. I don't know. Okay, so... Here we have another Pokemon, the Twin Bird Pokemon. A bird that makes up for its poor flying with its uh, fast foot speed. Leaves giant footprints. Okay, that's uh, whatever. Let's go ahead and nickname this Pokemon something. Let's go ahead and nickname it Lightning because it's fast and it's ironic. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, Lightning. Now, why am I nicknaming every Pokemon? Again, don't know which Pokemon is going to be on my team. And... Well, look at that. Here we have a Bellsprout. I kind of want to capture it. kind of don't. I already have a Grass-type Pokemon. Hmm. Let's go ahead and capture it, just in case. And... Wow. Okay, so its special has risen. Let's go ahead and use a Pokeball. Come on! Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Two, three, there it is. We caught ourselves more Pokemon right here than ever before. And, well, here we have another Dex entry. And it's a flower Pokemon. A carniv or carnivorous Pokemon that traps and eats bugs. It uses its root feet to soak up needed moisture. And we already know what kind of nickname we're going to give this guy. Abiquifu. The nickname... Sir Razor. That's right. From uh, some pretty good Pokemon games that we've already completed. I don't think we've completed a walkthrough with this guy, though. So, well, we'll see. We, we shall see, guys. So, here we are in the next town, finally. And there is a gym here, and this is the Mursan City Gym. Cartman. The heck? Cartman. Not Cartman with the T, but Carp. You know, like the fish. And, well, there is a Pokemon right here. And, well, it kind of sounds dreadful. Mursan City, the noble little town. Okay, and I tried facing the Pokemon Gym Leader, but I'm way too weak to fight him. And you spell, misspelled weak, and I, I'm assuming that's a route right there. Don't want to go there yet. And, well, think you're tough? Go face Cartman. Okay, all right. Now, I'm looking for a Pokemon Center. There should be a Pokemon Center around here. Are you a good trainer? Yes, I am. Really? That's so cool. I'm not. It kind of sucks for you, man. And look at that. We have found a Pokemon Center. Thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. Now, yeah. I think they did, the, like, I think they created this game this way just to challenge you a little. Like, how many times will you make it back? And I was a little smart by capturing as many Pokemon as possible. So, What's going to happen here is let's go ahead and deposit some Pokemon that we don't need. Like, Mudball is one of them. He did a good job. Nope, not Sunny. Toxic Batman, don't necessarily need it. And, well, let's go ahead and go with Moonlight right here. Don't need it right now. And I kind of want to bring out... Let's see. Hold on just a sec. I have three Pokemon, so I kind of want to bring out three Pokemon right here, like Sir Razor, Lightning's another one, and Dopey just because of the Psychic Aspect, and it is a Water-type Pokemon too, and well, let's see, oh look, there's grass right here, what, I wonder what kind of Pokemon you can find right here, hold on, nothing, hmm, okay, there we go. And what do we have? A Pidgey. Oh, oh, wow! Oh, crap. I fucked up. That was a level 18 Pidgey. That was a level 18 Pidgey. I should have captured it. There's a Pokemon Center right... Oh, okay. I'm doing it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Again, guys, this is the first time I'm ever playing this game. And here we have... 
a Paris, a level 17 Paris. And I don't need that right there. Okay, so I kind of want to see what Pokemon we can find right here. This has been laid out there for a very good reason. Let's find out. Oh, wow, an Ekans. Okay, so... To me... Oh, crud. Okay, so this is the Pokemon that just... Okay. So to me, it looks like they were put there just so we can train or capture these Pokemon, or if, unless they're... Oh, wow, it's a Hitmonlee! Okay. All right, I'm going to capture you. I'm going to capture you. Let's leech see this guy. Level 20 Hitmonlee. I want to capture this guy. Holy crud. And, well, as you can see, it is powerful. It is mighty. And we're going to see this guy right here. So, thankfully, we will get some HP out of it, I guess. I don't know. And crap. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to get destroyed by this guy. Uh, sh shoot. <laughs> wow. Okay, so here comes a double kick, and yeah, crud. Okay, so I may have, uh, yeah, I may have done something wrong right here. There's no way I am putting this guy. Okay, let's go. It's going with a meditate. Holy crap. Yeah, okay. And it's burned. Okay, uh, <laughs> alright, let's go with a quick attack. I kind of want to get some hits on this guy. There's one, there's a meditate, oh, this guy's going to go super if we don't do anything, and look at that, okay. Alright, let's go with an ember attack, and here comes a double kick, so we're, we're practically destroyed, oh shoot, oh wow. Okay, no, we gotta escape, we have to escape, okay. We got Doe Duo. We can't run away with this guy? Okay, let's run away. Run away, goddammit! Okay, uh... Come on. Okay, we run away. Okay. Okay, so that was an experience. And it looks like to me we, we got a lot of stuff to do right there. Okay. So don't poke the Pokemon bear right there. Okay, alrighty. I kind of want to go back on the grass. No joke, guys. I kind of do want to go back on the grass and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we can find right here. This uh, grass of mysteries, and it is a level 18 Pidgey. <sighs> okay. Now, this is actually a better challenge for us. So let's go ahead and go with the lead seed. Because if we get this Pidgey right here, then we do have a chance to actually evolve it right away. Now we could have used that oh rare candy and stuff. I do have a Pokemon that is a uh, well that will take its hit. And, uh, well, let's see. There goes a sand attack. So, yeah, this guy this guy is not going to go out quietly and all that crud. So here we go again with another tackle attack. And, well, there was a level 20 freaking Hitmonlee. I'm going to capture that little bastard. Okay, so let's go with a dude right here. All right, tackle attack. Gust attack. Oh, damn, okay, okay. Super effective, but guess what? <laughs> You're seated. Okay, now let's see. Here comes another gust attack. That's not super effective. And here we go again with the seed. So let's go. Tackle attack. Um. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we got a chance, two chances to capture this guy right here. Two. <laughs> okay, so we cut ourselves a very strong Pokemon. And it is the name of Pidgey, Tiny Bird, a common sight in forests and woods and flaps its wings at around a level to kick up blinding sand. Okay, we are going to nickname this Pokemon Hurricane, since we already got one. And yes, we are going to include this guy into our team right here because uh, <laughs> we're going to capture that. We're going to capture the hate only. Okay, so... That's that. Okay, so it looks like this episode is for is going to be me capturing some strong ass Pokemon. I'm just saying. First time playing it, this is looking like it's going to be fun. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I'm sorry, Doduo, -Do, but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to say goodbye. I'm gonna have to say goodbye. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see, Doduo, -Do, where are you? Lightning. Okay. All right, Lightning. 
see ya. Hello, Hurricane. Okay. <laughs> All right. That. Okay. That Hitmonlee will be mine now. There is one thing I need to do, and I need to buy myself some more Pokeballs right here. Let's see. All right. We're going to the Pokemart. All right. So we got plenty of money. Let's go with another five Pokeballs right here. And oh wow, you can actually buy a Water Stone here. Okay. Okay, so let's go and let's go in and, and try and capture ourselves a Hitmonlee, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, let's see. That is another Pidgey, a level 18 Pidgey. Don't want nothing. Okay, so maybe we should, uh, let's see, maybe we should switch it out to Hurricane. And crap, we should have. Yeah, heal, heal the Pokemon first. Again, this is Generation 1 ish. Okay. Wow, it actually sounds like good old Draven is having fun. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna have a fun summer. Very fun summer right here. Okay, let's go back and forth and see if we can find this Hitmonlee. We do have the type advantage, and we could use a little bit of oomph into this uh, right here. And that is not the Pokemon I want. So what we're gonna do is... Speed button. Okay. Speed button again. So there, it's every so often in a hack game that we're gonna be using a speed button right here, guys, because you know not to waste a lot of time. That's kind of how I, you know, got in and out of this whole Mursan cave. And so far, we got ourselves a Atkins right here, and that is another Pidgey. All right, come on, let's go. Let's find this, find this Pokemon right here. Now, what I don't get is why it has uh, the Lavender Town. The Lavender Town music. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of sad and all that stuff. All right, Hurricane. You know, with one little battle right here, and it grows a level, bam. There you go. And there you are. Hitmonlee, you're mine. You are mine. Okay, so here we go. It's going with the Meditate attack right here, but we're going to go with the Gust. And that is super effect. Oh, wow, it's not effective? What the hell? Um... Okay, somebody needs to explain that. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Okay, so... It looks like Hitmonlee is impermeable, or... It, 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 it... Oh, crud, oh, crud, oh, crud. Yeah, we are... Yeah, we are effed in the arse. Oh, no. Okay, uh... No. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay. Dopey. Get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of here. Yes, okay. Okay. Okay, so... What the heck kind of Pokemon is it? Hold on. I, I can't do anything right now. You know what? Screw it. <sighs> okay. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Doesn't get... Okay, so it might be a... You know, it might be a rock type. I don't even know. But you know what? This is a good place to actually stop our adventure. I was planning on going to the gym, but uh, you know what? We're gonna have to wait on that. I, I, I do want to capture that that Himonly. I really do. Hell, I might even capture some Pokemon off screen too. So stay tuned, guys. In the next adventure, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll we'll, we'll find out pretty soon here. See you guys.